Well, that grand jury has been meeting to consider the evidence and sources now saying they did, in fact, vote today to indict Daniel Penny for the chokehold death of that subway rider, Jordan Neely. Now, at this point, though, we do not know exactly what charges Daniel Penny has been indicted on. That's because these proceedings are secret and it will not be unsealed until the arraignment. Also, here's the backstory that we know of that uh, Daniel Penny actually turned himself into police uh, last month when he was charged with second degree manslaughter. The grand jury, however, considers a number of charges, including manslaughter, after hearing evidence and testimony. Now, Penny has maintained that he was acting in self defense, saying Jordan Neely was aggressively panhandling. We did get a statement a short time ago from Penny's attorneys saying, while we respect the decision of the grand jury to move this case forward to trial, it should be noted that the standard of proof in a grand jury is very low and there has been no finding of wrongdoing. And over the weekend, Penny's attorneys also released some video of him telling the story in his own words. The three main threats that he repeated over and over was, I'm going to kill you. I'm prepared to go to jail for life and I'm willing to die. I knew I had to act and I acted in a way that would protect the other passengers, protect myself and protect Mr. Neely. I used this hole to restrain him, and I did this by leaving my hand on top of his head to control his body. You can see in the video, there's a clear rise and fall of his chest indicating that he was still breathing. I didn't see a black man threatening passengers. I saw a man threatening passengers, it's a lot of whom were people of color. And Neely, and Neely was homeless and had a documented history of mental illness. Now, Daniel Penny's defense fund is now over $2.8 million. Again, what we're told today, according to sources, is that Daniel Penny has now been indicted. No arraignment date set just yet. And the Manhattan DA's office not commenting at this point.